My name is Matt Ledger. I am the North American North Central Regional Sales Manager for API, and I'm here to show you the API arm. The arm that we have here is our 2.5 meter arm. This model does come in a 2 meter, 2.5 meter, 3 meter, 3.5 meter, 4 meter, and 4.5 meter. And that basically describes the spherical diameter that it can work in. This type of arm also comes in two different models where one is a six axis and one is a seven axis. That basically refers to the amount of axis that it can move about. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this model has an additional seven axis for scanners. The scanner that is on this is the ACE Skyline scanner. It measures 600,000 points a second. Um, and the accuracy is right around 48 microns. This also can be removed to include uh, a probe on the end where your accuracies will become better than the scanner. So initially when it's just a probing arm, the accuracy single point repeatability is 27 microns or just over a plus or minus a thousandth of an inch. Um, when you add the scanner onto it, you're getting about 48 microns or just under plus or minus 2007 inch. So definitely very accurate. Uh, this arm, as you can see, is made of composite tubes that helps with any kind of thermal expansion between the encoders. Um, as the arm does get longer, the accuracy does decrease or you add a, you know, an additional 10 to 15 microns with each size that goes up. Um, this arm has pretty nice features as far as the portability of it. This has a battery pack on the back that can give you several hours of, of working with no power plugged into it. This also has Wi-Fi capability, um, so you don't need to be connected whatsoever to the computer to take this into a shop and measure. When the scanner is attached to the arm, uh, we do need to be plugged in through ethernet because the amount of data flow that, that comes out of the arm we need that wired connection. A couple other nice features of the arm is that the handle grip is very ergonomical with three different buttons on it. Uh, one button is a, a trigger pull, the next one is a trigger push, and then there's a button on the back of the arm. Each of those buttons can be programmable to either take a measurement, delete a measurement, or finish a measurement process. Another nice feature of the arm handle is a magnetic docking that it has. Um, it's a really nice fitting that it has and it's a very strong magnet where you don't have to worry about the arm falling off or getting hit off. It's got really a uh, solid connection to it. Also what comes with the arm is a tool kit where it has every component needed to swap in between the scanner and the probing unit. Uh, also calibration spheres for both probe and the scanner. A base comes with it for tabletop mounting. This is a three and a half inch thread, which is also what this has. This is a standard three and a half inch metrology thread. So a lot of your stands that you already have um, or being used in the market will fit with the arm. Um, there's also a dust cover and a portable carrying case, very protective carrying case too, that can ship easily and don't have to worry about damage. Inside the kit, I am going to pull out the probe that comes with it. This is a standard uh, kit where it includes a six millimeter ruby tip. Um, the nice part about these ruby tips is that it's modular for the whole base attachment. There's three, three components to it, the actual tip, a spacer, and a base. This base has data information inside of it that will carry your calibration of that probe, no matter what computer you go to, it's all stored in the probe. The nice part about it being modular too is that if you want to swap out the probe tip with a longer one or a different material, um, it's as easy as just buying the tip portion of it instead of purchasing a whole new probe assembly. With these probes, we're not defined to one manufacturer. This is a Renishaw base, but all these probe tips have the full breadth of the Renishaw catalog as well as any third-party manufacturers as well. Um, so again, this is really nice where if you break it or need to replace it, you're not 
paying for hundreds of dollars for the whole probe assembly. You just swap out the probe tip. So now I'm gonna demonstrate installing the probe onto the arm and then going through a calibration process. So there is a key inside the tool kit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna index the probe tip onto the arm and then we're gonna use a key to lock it on. Next, I'm gonna grab my computer and we're gonna go through how to connect to the arm, check diagnostics, see if the arm is ready to be run. And then we're gonna go through the probe management and we're gonna calibrate that probe.